Ah, good morning there. I'm Detective um, Tit, and I have spent the last six weeks confined to a very dark room smoking opioids. And after that time, blissfully sinking away, I have reached the stark conclusion that she's not going to text you back, and she doesn't think about you. Move on with your pitiful existence, sir. I don't know why I did that. Probably just to show off this stupid hat, to be honest. I got it as a gag gift for Christmas. It's very, very weird. I just own too many weird fucking hats at this point. Why? Why do people keep buying me weird hats? So welcome back anyway to another pointless internet series. This is the side series I do on this already atrocious YouTube channel where I talk about several smaller stories that have piqued my interest recently and have made me want to hit myself repeatedly in the skull with a large blunt instrument. I've got a whole lot of nonsense to get through with you today, boys and girls, so let's strap in and get ourselves ready. You know, take a few minutes to psych yourself up, just, you know, get ready for the pain and degradation and just general the horrificness that is about to come your way for 10 to 15 minutes. Don't you just love this time of the day, boys and girls? I only do this show for money, that's it. So yes, for the first story today, Keemstar has genuinely ruined my week. You might remember a few months ago in the end of year roundup APIS episode that I did, I spoke about Keemstar's decision to finally retire from the internet, and I was very very pleased about this decision. Honestly, I think I described it as the best news I'd heard in all of 2021. You may also remember in that episode that I mentioned, I don't really go near Keemstar or Drama Alert or anything he says and does really, unless I absolutely have to, because I fucking hate him. Genuinely, I steer completely clear of Keemstar whenever I can. I only look at him when it's absolutely vital to do so. So, it won't come as a surprise to you that I only learned literally a couple weeks ago that Keemstar isn't actually retiring at all. What is up, Trommeler Nation? I'm your host, Keller Keemstar. No! He announced this back in January, but I didn't fucking see it. I was only made aware of it because a friend of mine told me in the pub. And genuinely, it ruined my evening. It actually really pissed me off beyond belief. Why, Keemstar? The only good decision you've ever made and you've gone back on it. What, what the fuck, man? So Keemstar tweeted out anyway, I'm not retiring on 8th of March 2022. I want to, but Drama Alert is not ready for me to leave yet. I have to expand the company much bigger before I can leave. Keemstar literally is tweeting there like he's a set of really bad subtitles on a bootleg Chinese movie streaming site. 20 million for my company is a joke. It's worth more. I'll just have to prove it. Will you now, Keemstar? 20 million for Drama Alert? I wouldn't buy Drama Alert for a pack of fucking peanuts, all right? Like, number one, this just proves you're greedy. And number two, this is just more irrefutable proof that you're a colossal narcissist. 20 million dollars for a dodgy, shitty YouTube channel. And, and you're not gonna take that offer? Are you insane? I'd take that in a heartbeat. I'd sell it for half that, and I'd retire off into the sunset, and I'd live a happy little life, and I'd just keep away from the fucking internet, and I'd be much happier with my existence, to be honest. But as we all probably know all too well, Keemstar is far too fond of himself, his own opinions, his own voice, and his own stupid little gnome beard. The man couldn't keep quiet if he tried. I reckon that's a very big factor into why he's suddenly not retiring. People are even calling him out for this in the replies to this tweet, and I don't blame them. Like, the man probably couldn't keep off the internet if he tried. Even if he did quit Drama Alert, he'd still be on Twitter. He'd keep tweeting garbage and bollocks no matter what he retires from. To be honest, I was just hoping that he, you know, quit Drama Alert and someone else would take over and the whole thing would spiral down and eventually just destroy itself. Because whether you love him or hate him, Drama Alert probably couldn't survive without Keem. And that's what I was hoping for, to be honest, the end of Drama Alert. Even if Keemstar stuck about on the internet, which is more than likely, at least we'd, you know, get rid of Drama Alert. It would be one stain removed from the internet, which is, you know, like going into a hoarder's apartment and taking one thing out and suddenly calling the place clean. There's still so much shit on the internet, but at least it was, at least it was one thing gone, you know? But no, I've, I've, been deprived of that as well, so thanks Keem, you fucking asshole. <laughs> I don't really have anything else to say about this, to be perfectly honest. It's old news, it's literally just one tweet, there's not exactly much to discuss here. I just genuinely, genuinely wanted to get this shit off my chest. Which, to be honest, if you've been watching this channel and the Apis show for a while now, that's basically half of the shit I talk about. I just get stuff off my chest because it's really annoyed me. So thanks for the three f so thanks for the free therapy. Oh my god. So thanks for the free therapy, guys. Let's move on. Try saying that fucking three times when you're drunk. Creeper. 
Oh man. Up next, you're probably aware that a few days ago, on the 4th of March 2022, they released the Minecraft movie. Or perhaps you're not aware of this at all because it didn't fucking happen. What am I referring to? I'm referring, of course, to this tweet here that was put out by the official Minecraft Twitter page in April 2019. Actually, I've just noticed. April? Yeah, they tweeted this on my 20th birthday, April 16th, 2019. They put this out on my 20th birthday. What a wonderful birthday present for me, eh? Dates. They are important because they allow us to clear our calendars for exciting, nay, monumental events. This whole tweet just reeks of fucking out of touch, doesn't it? Such as the upcoming Minecraft movie, which finally has one. March 4, 2022, just around the corner. A few more details here. Just in case you were wondering, by the way, if you click the link in this little tweet, it takes you to an error 404 page, so, you know, if I were to put on my, uh, fuck, where did I put it? If I were to put on my, uh, Reddit detective hat, I would say, with a reasonable probability, that this shit isn't fucking happening. <laughs> if I remember correctly, there was something in, like, October 2020, sometime around then anyway, saying that Covid had delayed the movie indefinitely, and I think that's genuinely the last update we got about the film, that it had been delayed indefinitely. So it's more than likely that this thing just isn't going to happen at this point, and to be honest, I think we should all be very, very fucking pleased about that. Balance of probability, the Minecraft movie wasn't going to be any good. Apparently, according to Google, Steve Carell was going to be in this movie. I wonder who he was going to play. Daniel Day-Lewis as well. Whackin' Phoenix. Why the fuck would they put Whackin' Phoenix in this? Although then again, I suppose Patrick Stewart was in the Emoji movie, so you never fucking know these days. Hey, Murray. Hey, Murray. I'm Whackin' Phoenix. You want to hear a joke? The fucking Minecraft movie. I mean, look, to be honest, realistically, as I said, this movie would have been complete another wank. It probably would have been unfunny cringy garbage, Steve would have been some reluctant joke-quipping hero who's forced to destroy the Ender Dragon and save the Minecraft universe, despite the fact that he just wants to, I don't know, build shit or something like that. There's probably a conventionally attractive female side character who is half the reason that Steve agrees to go on this quest. Joaquin Phoenix would have probably been the fucking bad guy in this movie. Maybe he'd have shot a news presenter halfway through the movie. There'd have probably been a really bad Notch cameo. They'd have probably, like, made references to some really shit memes, like the, you know, the creeper, oh man, shit from a few years ago. You know, they'd have done all that, they'd have milked it dry, they'd have run it into the fucking ground, it'd have just been, you know, an onslaught of dead memes and bad jokes for 90 minutes, basically. So to be honest, I don't think we need that, and I think we should be very glad that this film probably won't happen. You know, Minecraft's been on the rocks for the last 10 years, it's been constantly going through highs and lows, it's been very popular, and then it's been unpopular and cringy, and then it's become popular again. Right now it's just sort of plateauing out, nobody really minds about Minecraft, but if they'd have released this Minecraft movie, Minecraft would have just gone all the way down to the bottom once again. So I think, you know, you, me, the internet, and Minecraft itself can all be very pleased that this fucking movie isn't gonna go ahead. Steve Carell playing the main protagonist of a, of a Minecraft movie, that just sounds fucking diabolical. And so finally, to finish out today's episode, I recently went on Facebook for the first time in like two or three months, and within 30 seconds of scrolling, I came across this video here. And this video here has made me want to throw myself out a window. This video, of course I should mention, comes to you from Unilad, who, if you don't know, is basically just another really shitty Buzzfeed ripoff. Unilad is basically like Nine Gags, slightly more stupid, less likeable cousin. And that's saying something, because Nine Gags in a pretty shitty situation on its own. Anyway, this video shows off a pig who has been nicknamed Pig Casso because she paints. Now, first and foremost, I'm not particularly annoyed about a pig painting. In fact, I actually think that's pretty cool. Pigs are actually very intelligent animals, if you don't know. They're up there, you know, on the same level as, like, dolphins in terms of intelligence. They're very intelligent, sociable creatures. So the fact that one can not only paint, but apparently enjoys doing so, that's actually quite impressive. What isn't impressive is that one of these paintings recently sold for $25,000. $25,000 for a load of squiggles on a canvas. What the fuck? Now I'm just gonna let this video play on screen next to me as I talk, and you can just kind of see what this painting entails. Like, it's not particularly much. Again, it's very impressive that the pig can paint, and has an awareness of painting, but 
that doesn't make the painting any good. This is no better than what a three-year-old would draw in school. And they bring it home to the parents and they go, look, mummy, look, daddy, I've drawn this. And the parents take it and they have to pretend to like it. Oh, yeah, sweetie, that's lovely. What the fuck is it? And then it goes on the fridge, you know, for like three days until eventually the kid forgets about it. And so they very quietly take it down and probably burn it or something, I don't know. I'm willing to bet that whoever bought this canvas of bollocks, you know, is probably into NFTs and believes that this is a new age of challenging what we think is art. I can tell you for a fact, right, that's not art. The Mona Lisa is art. What isn't art is a sentient piece of bacon squiggling all over a canvas. I'll tell you what, guys, let's, uh, let's, uh, bear with me one second, all right? We've got blue, we've got purple, we've got orange. Everybody likes a bit of orange. Uh, we've got green, and then we've got brown. You know, because brown is the colour of shit. And what I'm about to draw will be shit. All we're going to do is we're going to take this piece of paper here, and I'm just going to do this, basically. We'll just take a pink one real quick, and we'll just do that. Finally, just, you know, just to sign my signature, just to prove that it's my art, I'm just going to very quickly... Uh, put my signature on this just so you know it's definitely my work and nobody can rip it off. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That uh, is my is my seller work of new age art. I would like to sell this for uh, fifty thousand dollars. Genuinely serious here, fifty thousand dollars. If you feel like buying this piece of new age art and adding it to your collection of total bollocks that will be worth nothing in five years. Uh, please hit me up on my Twitter, on my Discord. I don't particularly care. Just, just hit me up and give me money. Yeah, this obviously took time and effort and serious passion to make, and I really think it's worth the fifty thousand dollars. So if you are rich and brain dead enough to want this, please do hit me up. I, I would seriously like the money. I'm broke as fuck. Yeah, there you can sort of see that. Actually, no, you can't but I don't particularly care, actually. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that about wraps this video up. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, any support is massively appreciated. A like, a subscribe, $50,000 for that piece of shit up there. Uploads are a bit few and far between on this channel at the moment. I'm hoping they'll get better soon. I just have a lot of shit on my plate at the moment, to be perfectly honest. It's just a point where several dicks are smacking me in the face at once. Lots going on. Uh, so I appreciate your patience uh, while I'm getting through this. Hopefully I'll have more videos out to you soon at a more frequent rate. Hopefully some longer videos as well. I've got a big video in the works at the moment. That's due out in about a month. Fuck, I hope I can get it finished on time. But until things get better on my end anyway, thanks for your patience. Genuinely, I really appreciate it. I would like to make YouTube videos more. Believe me, I just cannot at the moment feasibly. So cheers for your patience. Very much appreciated. I love the fact that I still feel I have to acknowledge my shitty upload schedule, even though I've repeatedly referred to this as one of the worst shows on the internet multiple, multiple times. It's just a bit of, bit of poetic irony there for you, isn't it? Anyway, that's about it. Take it steady, ladies and gentlemen. I'm off to go, I don't know, scream into a pillow for 20 minutes or something, probably. Have a nice day.